How's it going, everybody? I am Donut. As always, this is a Black Lives Matter, all cops are masters, and trans rights supporting channel. If you're not supporting that shit, get the fuck off this channel. We are reading Volume 3, the final volume of Guerrilla School. If you are enjoying these reactions, please leave a comment below. If you're vibing with this series, please leave a comment below. You know, this is something that I'm doing, and, you know, I know this is going to get little views almost no comments if not no comments very little likes you know it's I'm doing this for the love of the game so if you are digging the vibes of the series as much as I am this little hidden gem out here such a cool aesthetic look at this look at this this is so cool such a cool fucking aesthetic if you guys are digging this let me know in the comments if you are digging it like I am please let me know I'm not alone here <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> Mondo busting through an explosion with Mito in the, the foreground here, still with his pink panties. So that is just what he likes. That's just what he likes. <sighs> but yeah, you know, he is like the big disguise guy, always in disguise. Oh, again, get the vibes of uh, Kichiza here with that. I mean, it's just in general, I hadn't thought about it, but yeah, this is like definitely... Growing up Kichiza vibes with the, the sideburns and everything. But, really building up to this. Okay, pulls out a, a looks like a, a rocket launcher with a, with a seeker on it. Oh my god, okay, whoa, right through the stomach. Is that enough? It can't be enough. It can't even be enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So machine gun couldn't take it out, so I thought maybe this will do the trick. But... <laughs> Die, Jay Goku! <laughs> yeah, talking about fighting dirty, but nope, he is back up. But now, hopefully, the fight might be a little bit even now that we have shot a hole through his stomach. <laughs> okay, this is the narrator. Okay. So, yeah, first time he's felt the tugs of fear in his heart. I mean, he said, I guess he said that about this battle. But, okay, I got another round in there. Nope, Bazooka's only got one shot. What are you gonna do? Yoroku! Uh, okay, it can mean nincompoop. Uh, phonetically, it can mean nincompoop, but. Uh, uh, okay, that's his name. Okay, his name is Yoroku, which could be read as nincompoop. Okay, so that's our, our uh, <laughs> little assistant guy, you know? <laughs> our adjutant. <laughs> Alright, reload for us! Shoot! Oh, it's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one. Okay, 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 okay. Did we shoot an arm off? Did we shoot him in the face? Did we shoot him in the body? Did we? And okay, okay. Nick the reload, reload, reload. Okay, yeah, we shot his arm off. Good, good, good. Okay. Whew. Another one. No, no. He knocked us out with that one. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Nick the get out of here. But enough damage sustained. Okay, okay, no. We still got a lot of shot here. Boom. Okay, yeah. There goes the eye. There goes the jaw. Okay, this is just a bunch of spots now. <laughs> Holy. Okay. So off the top of his head. I don't even know if he's fully down. I want to believe he is. But okay. Okay. I think he's down. Is he? Oh, what the hell is this? Somebody watching from a distance. Hmm. He doesn't know how to lose. Oh, d d who? Uh, what? But don't make the mistake of looking up to him like he's some sort of hero. Anyway, we better hurry up. Or hell, or he'll reach that house of demons where we do. Kitakiri, can I count on you to slow down Midoro? Huh? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. He, he, Takiri, can I count on you to slow down Midoro? This is the best job you've ever given me, Midoro-san. Hmm. What is going on here? Huh. I don't know. Who the hell is this, and why does he look like? Uh, like, you know, uh, Midoro. Uh, but then also, like, can you slow down Midoro? Huh, I don't know. And they're still calling him Midoro, not, uh, Mido. But, oh, the two faces. No. <laughs> and now I'm breaking it, okay? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I appreciate it. You'd be like, yeah, I gave a word. So what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh... Any man to see my face must die now. Uh, yeah, we, we, these monsters, I don't know, they're all, they're all inhuman, though. They're all inhuman as well. So, they might be really tough. Oh, no, we just got our little nincompoop here. 
Alright. Just gun. Gun. Hurry up. Oh no. Oh no. We didn't bring a gun. Just the bazooka. Okay. We're doing it barehanded. Okay. Barehanded in this boss. <laughs> oh. What do you got? Acid spits. Okay. Damn. Okay. Ninkapoo's good though. He's got those flips. Yeah. 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 It's acid. Uh, oh. Yeah. Snake tongue. Okay. God. It's cool. It's cool. But, okay. Mito's trying to get away. But. From out of the car. Uh, was the assassin? And okay, yeah, yeah, just he to carry the assassin. Okay, but who the fuck are you? Uh, okay, so uh, what, okay, okay. So there's two. There's two. Okay, so there is two. There's Mido, and there's also Midor Midoro. Uh, this is the actual Midoro, or what? A you know, this is one of them. Sweating super hard, so maybe not. Maybe pretending. Didn't you take her into the cell yourself? Uh, yes, that I did. So, oh man. But then what is, what does this guy think's going on? Because he's, <laughs> that's what was very confusing about this. That was the most confusing part, is him saying, uh, you know, Hitokiri, can I count on you to slow down Midoro? This is the best job you ever give me, Midoro-san. So, maybe this was supposed to be, can I count on you to slow down Mido? Maybe, maybe that's what this was actually supposed to be, Mido, and then this one was Midoro, but it was just like a mis, uh, like a typo or something, uh, like a scanlation issue, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. But uh, that would kind of make sense. Hmm. So okay, yeah, you're not Midoro. Okay, so you're not Midoro, as in yeah, you're not Mido. So who are you? Hmm. I don't know, that looks like Mido, though, but we not because we just saw Mido was being, you know, held, uh, you know, slowed down by uh, Hitokiri. So, I don't know, but this is a very, like, oh no, what's gonna happen to me? And then, you know, very similar look to Mido. Student. Gorilla. Okay, okay, so there is, there's two Midos. There's two Midos. There's the one with the that face, and then there's this one that we've seen before. I, assumingly, maybe that other one's the one we've seen before. I don't know. But, okay, okay. I'm, I'm very fascinated now. What the hell? Hmm. Yeah, chop, 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 chop. But, he's gone. Oh. Hmm. Who put you up to this? Hmm. Direct orders from the guy you hate the most. The man who stole your face. Okay. Midoro Tatsuma. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 So, this is, this is, Mido Tatsuma. Uh, Midoro Tatsuma is a brother or something? Or, I don't know, the man who saw your face? I don't know, but I gotta write down Midoro so I don't keep forgetting this. I did not, I thought it was gonna be like an arc villain thing, but this is actually pretty important. Okay, okay, but not ordered to kill you or anything. And yeah, I'm just gonna tell you where he is. Okay, he's at your house of demons. Tsh, he knows what that means. Okay, back to this fight, though. Okay, nice. Nickaboo's doing a good job. Hell yeah. Like to see it. <laughs> right, whip him around by the tongue. Got two groups coming in. Oh, they're retreating, actually. No, they're not coming in. They're retreating. Huh. So, yeah, they've been called back. They don't call me Hiroku for the monkey for nothing. Nickaboo the monkey. <laughs> okay. But, okay. Okay, cool. I like this guy. He's got a cool design. Again, he, he looks like a, uh, he looks similar to like an Akazuka character. Akazuka Sensei. But, uh, the car racing around the edge. <laughs> I assume this is, yeah, one of the Tatsumas. I love just seeing all our players here, like, you know, starting with this and then cutting to like them, and then him, and then him. I oh, like to see it. So, Midoro Tatsuma. No, Mido Tatsuma. Everything's going as you planned. Okay, yeah. So, but, okay, okay. So, he knows them as both names, too. So, both of them share both names. Both are Mido Tatsuma and both are Midoro Tatsuma? Is that, is that correct or am I wrong? I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> Wild. This guy just came out of nowhere. This is, again, this feels like such a modern manga. This feels like we're doing a modern manga plot in the middle of this other story. Like, we just went hard to, like, a, okay, yep, this is just, like, I gotta take notes now. This is a modern manga. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let down. But don't worry. Okay, yeah, you go with this. 
<laughs> nice, nice. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they. Yeah. They're, they're they've called on. Now. Okay. We got the rest of our guys here meeting up with uh, Hitokiri. What? Or is this Hitokiri's guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is Hitokiri's guys. I assume these guys are all girl students as well. Man, Gonna Guy just loves doing it. Like, here's some cool, you know, people from this crowd. They're like different every time, but uh, you know, I would actually love it if One Piece did this instead of just showing the same people reacting every time. Which I get it because they're the ones that you know. It's like, well, that they're reacting because it means something to them, sort of. But like, I would also love it just be like four random people from the crowd every time, which is very distinct designs. That would be. It's such an aesthetic in his series. I love it. Okay, so this is the Mito group. Okay. So yeah, they are Girl of Force. And this is our chance to crush Chimidoro. Uh, which, you know, it was also the name of Midoro. It was Midoro Chimidoro? Was that his name? Was that his name? Oh, I don't remember, but I'll write down this one too so I don't forget it. Chimidoro. Or I guess, no, that was just the full name. Because yeah, Midoro is a part of Chimidoro. I'm an idiot. Okay, never mind. But I guess we're going to beat Monster to the punch. They're going to be the ones to do it. We're gonna put our lives on the line for this one, boys. Full on assault of Chimidoro School. Yeah, because Chimidoro is, you know, um, blood splattered. <laughs> yeah, he's just wanting to be the better hero. Just wanting to be the top dude, the top the top guy. Yep, we'll make Mido. T okay, well, not he doesn't want to be the top guy. They want to make Mido Tatsuma number one. But yeah, uh, the Mido group they want to be number one. Yeah, and then after him, I'll be the one on top soon. Okay, okay, so you do want that. You want to be the vice president, the next line. Watch, being stopped by this one person on the stairs. My kind, gentle master, Midoro Tordanosuke. That was what the other one was? Tordanosuke? Midoro Torn. Well, okay, I'm going to write down that one too so I can get all these names down. I did not realize all these are going to be so important. Like, you know, I got the main ones down, but not those guys. But, so, my kind, gentle master, Midoro Toranosuke, can do as he pleases, but the cold, calculating Midoro Tatsuma is someone I cannot let past me. Okay. And then, yeah, blows away the disguise. So it is you, Tatsuma. So, okay, the difference is they are, they are both Midoros, but different last names. One's Tatsuma, one's uh, Toranosuke. Is that the difference? And Tora as in tiger, and then Nosuke as in, you know... A Japanese moniker, uh, like last name sort of thing, uh, or perhaps surname. Not sure. I guess it would be the surname. Yeah. But let's see how he does. Hmm. It's just one guy, though. It's just one guy. Okay, some kind of mind power. So I was born with no arms. I learned to move things with my mind instead. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll keep him distracted. You run for it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and so, so Toronosuke is the one that's coming. Okay, dashing off. But vroom! <laughs> Goddamn. Just vroom! <laughs> Hell yeah. Awesome driving skills. Hmm, gotta catch him now. I still my territory. God, interesting. He's crying. The man who burnt his parents to death and destroyed his own brother's face. Okay, okay. So that's why he's the... But, well, like, what's he planning to do? Hmm. But yeah, I mean, you, you're, you're way more evil than what we've seen him do, other than that one instance. But, huh. Okay, I got a long and winding road. That's not even a road. That's, I mean, what do you even call this? You dig to the ground? That's like a fucking lazy river. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, Tatsuma goes in for the punch. He goes in for the mind ray. Uh, is it going to... Now, get him. Okay, I thought it was just to run away. But no, okay, yeah, she got superhuman strength. So might as well <laughs> toss him up. And oh my god. Why didn't you give her pants? Why did you only give her a shirt? <laughs> I like you walk around underwear all the time. Why? Why are you wanting to keep your pants? <laughs> but oh, okay, cool. I think that yeah, mental powers take up all your concentration, so it's easy to sneak up on you. Uh, but okay, nice. So that's how she got out of there. So it was essentially the same sort of thing. But I give her your pants. 
Oh, okay, you know what? Maybe don't. You know what? Maybe don't. <laughs> oh, fighting on the stairs, too. Oh, rough. God, this shirt does nothing. This shirt is completely pointless. <laughs> oh, head on the back of the stairs. Yeah, maybe knocked out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, not fully out. Goes at him. Uh, okay, chops off the fucking head like that. Chops off his damn head. Looks like a goddamn worm like this. Okay, hell yeah. Huh? What, is this like her sensing something? Or, uh, oh, you're just coming face to face with... The half-faced man. The half-faced brother. <laughs> oh, my, my. But okay, back to them. God damn, you look cool. Holy shit, you look cool. Doom, doom, doom. So many cool guys. So many cool guys. I can't stop thinking about it now. I... Truly, because like some of my favorite things in like One Piece and My Hair Academia and you know stuff like that is the the background people in a group where it's like you know the people in the pirate crew, the people in like you know uh, a you know hero you know grouping. I'm not sure what that was called, but you know like a hero and the sidekick and then also the other people. Like seeing those people is so cool. I love uh, just imagining you know your entire story. Like I just look at this and I just picture like you know. Yeah, everything we've seen Mondo going through, you've probably gone through stuff not as serious, but similar stuff. This guy as well. This guy as well. I love that feeling of, like, just showing a shot, you know, of them. I would say, like, early One Piece had much more of that vibe. Like, Skypea. I love the random Shandians, you know, in Skypea. Uh, like, they were all so fucking cool, and yeah, they would get random panels like this. But I wish more series did that. It's so hyped to just be like, here's Mondo and the gang, and here's doom, doom, doom three people from the gang you've never seen before, but they're pretty cool. They might not even have a fight or do anything important. It's just like, here's a design I came up with. I'm sorry to talk about so much, but it's so cool. <sighs> okay, this is only his group. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. So, Nicklepoop found the location of Tsubasa. Uh, yeah, hopefully he gets back. And he's actually wearing a western vest this time. Got some nice-ass abs here. Hell yeah. And then we'll destroy the traitor. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the fact that you need Mido to take... You, you said, I'm going to need Mido to take down Jigoku. And you didn't end up needing that. But, uh, at the same time, uh, how the hell are we going to take on Mido? You know? Oh no. Oh no, now she's being assaulted upon by some monsters coming out of the high grass. Or not? Overlooking her, maybe? Yep, overlooking her, just going straight to the house. Hell yeah. Okay, lucky, lucky. Oh, what the hell? A hand grabbed us, and it's uh oh, it's a monster. Okay, okay, okay. So there's one still here. Oh, we can take on one. We can take on one. Come on, girl, you got superhuman strength and everything. But okay, we need to be saved by Ninkapoop. It's cool though. I, I, I got Ninkapoop got to do something. I mean, she's also been like held up like this, like strung up. You know, I can't imagine how exhausted you would be after being in that state for days. Okay, nice. <laughs> I love this guy. Alright, take the head? Uh, uh what the hell? Uh, oh, oh. Hmm? Oh, was this, okay, this was just like the head folding off the body still. They were cutting back as the head's falling off the body. And then, uh, uh, Toranosuke picks it up. And yeah, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. Change the name from Midoro to Mido. Mm -hmm. I wonder what these names mean. Huh. Mm, I'm nothing like a villain, uh-huh. Just say I'm an honest guy who doesn't let his emotions get the better of him. Yeah, uh-huh. Bullshit! Yeah, you deny the fact you murdered your own parents and also all the students? No, I did kill those people. I had to. They weren't my parents. They were yours! <laughs> they never loved me from the very beginning. You're the only one they cared for. Ever wondered why? What was the difference between us? Our faces and bodies were exactly the same. We even got the same grades in school, identical in every way. That's what I thought, but... Huh, what the fuck is going on here? What do you mean, how does that justify it? <sighs> but okay, yeah, sorry. Midoro is a completely different person. He looks exactly like Mido. At least half his face does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just talk talking guys. I keep forgetting that she doesn't have any pants on. <sighs> Okay, yeah, now he notices. Now he notices. Now she cares. 
<laughs> so sorry about that. Give her your pants. <laughs> Did you see? So serious. <laughs> I mean, it was right there. <laughs> I guess that means I have to show you mine now, huh? <laughs> but yeah, here's my pants. That's what you got on your underwear. Yeah, you got a fucking fidoshi underneath. <sighs> Alright, hell yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. But okay, I'm glad that he gave her his pants. Like I was just as popular as you. Men and women everywhere couldn't resist my beautiful face. I was like a superstar. Everybody loved me. Everyone except my so-called parents. At some point, I couldn't stand their utter disregard for me any longer. Back then, the only solution I could think of was to turn you, their beloved son, into something they couldn't bear to love. If I, if I was sure, I was sure if I did that, they'd have no choice but to love me instead. That's why I stole that sulfuric acid from my father's lab and snuck into your room that night. Jesus. Interesting is, like, you stole my face. But, you know, I, like, you stole it and, like, you took my face away from me. God. Unbelievable. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. But, yeah, <laughs> insane psychotic. Wait, is, is Tatsuma the family name? Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know what. I have three names here. Chimadora, Toronosuke, Tatsuma. What? 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 <laughs> now I'm more cuter than him, aren't I? Now that brother's become a monster, you've got only me. <laughs> but we can never love you. Who would abandon their own child to take care of some test animal? Okay, okay. Because yeah, I was like, what do you mean they're your parents but not my parents sort of thing? Like, okay. But yeah, the truth is, you're not even human. You're just an experiment. You are the genius biologist, Midoro uh, Kichiru's greatest creation. And so, Midoro is the family name. Wait, no, this one was for. Right, 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 no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And yeah, crazy, crazy to just, like, make a twin and not, you know. Like, oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like,. What what was the purpose? You know, I feel like normally in situations like, oh, the son died, now we have to make a clone. Well, you just made a clone and just made a twin and just made to live with the son? Just... <sighs> yeah, that would destroy your world, rip you apart. Mm -hmm. You're just a secondary creation to him. But, yeah, that's why he killed them. Ripped their heads with his own bare hands. But, okay, yeah, just thought that he died in the fire as well. Huh, so do you get it now? That's why I killed them and gave you the- oh yeah, and gave you that face, yeah, 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 understood. Ah, uh, and this was father's school, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Mm hmm, yeah, we were never brothers, I was just an imitation of you, a fake copy. Hmm, I was wondering, could you handle being nothing but a cheap knockoff of some guy? I can't, I want to become the real thing. But I suppose well, the only way a copy could do that is if he destroys the original. And you putting on the makeup and stuff too. I love they all put on makeup before they go fight. <laughs> the eyeliner and everything. Oh, looks great. Looks fantastic. Okay, okay, all suited up. Okay, got their whole squad too. Hell yeah. But sadly, the only people who showed up were our squad and, and her squad. And yet, like. To be fair, like, yeah, the, the actual, like, you know, Toronosuke as well, terrible, both of them, Mido and Mondo, I'm sorry, not Mondo, uh, Midoro and Mido, both awful. I mean, I guess, well, no, they're, they're both, they're both the Mido. Uh, Tatsuma and Toronosuke, both awful, both evil. <laughs> That's true. She still does have, you know, an army of men. Still does. Yeah, and Mondo and Tsubasa will be here soon. Fair, fair. Like, yeah, if you're not there to guide them, how good your staff can actually be. That's fair enough. And okay, so this squad is coming too. So remember, we got three squads. On a wide plain lies an old European style castle with its large, soaring towers. This is the school Midoro Tornosuke is so proud of. The very same Chimidoro school has continuously fended off countless attacks from the student Gorilla. And let's make this school its namesake! The Bloodstained School. Aww. G gorilla! Ting, 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 ting! Gorilla coming! Alright, go with the usual plan. 
to hold him back, the principal gets here. Let's go, man. Okay, bring it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Is that like a, you know, a, a bridge ladder up? And then no matter how many times you attack us, we will never fall. Chimodoro's secret weapon will make sure of that. So we got our secret weapon. They got their secret weapon. What's it gonna be? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Truly, you gotta be like looking in textbooks of actual dead bodies to know, you know, how to draw it like that. Good god. <sighs> God, the, the like flesh ripped away, so you see more of the teeth. Ugh. But okay, so it's got okay, okay, cool, 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 awesome. Oh, oh my God, are we gonna ramp up this on our motorcycles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can get inside on our bikes. So fuck yeah! Awesome. Oh, but they're opening the gates. Uh, students. Uh huh. They're rebelling, but hmm, is it or are they coming after us? Yep, yep, yep. They're coming after us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's their secret weapon. Uh, yeah, protect our school. Why, though? Huh. Why? They're taking us out, though, because we're not expecting this at all. Mm, are they in disguise? Are the teachers in disguise? Or... No? No? Hmm. Oh, no. He's... Oh, that's, that's just blood. Ugh. What the hell? What the hell is going on? How is this their secret weapon? And I'm gonna burn them alive. Once again, another fire. And okay, okay. Damn, fire's already lit. Yeah, I thought we were gonna get here in time, but. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I, I wanna know what the secret weapon is. Come on, I'm gonna die. You can't let me die without knowing that. <laughs> Alright, what is it? Every student at Chimidoro is on our side. They'd gladly give up their lives for their school. Why? I do also love- Impossible! There's no way they would love school! Hmm. But why? 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 Oh, yeah, 2,000 students! Ugh. But why? But why? But why? Oh? Okay, is this the principal from the other school? Or is- Hmm? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe he's just another monster, but he looked like him. Okay, the gorilla made it inside on those motorcycles. Fuck yeah. <laughs> awesome. Today, Sao Tome Mondo will take your head! Ah! But yeah, like a flame to a moth, or like a moth to a flame. Okay, I, yeah, I want to see what your house and demons really like. Show me why these students are like this. God, this is such a cool lineup, though. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, them as well. All oh, the students versus monsters. <laughs> this is like we're doing the like student occupation thing of these of the 60s and 70s here. But we're also now throwing in like, but what if also Scooby Doo? <laughs> I mean, even with the unmasking and everything like that. And yeah, uh, Subasa, you know, not gonna forget what you caused her. Oh, very well, teeth out face. Love it, love it. I love the way a Gona guy draws a like serious girl face, like you know when it's like, Grr. <laughs> really like it. <laughs> and okay, I'm gonna be the one to kill you. Hey, could be, could be. If Mondo is the one who takes on uh, Tornosuke, and then you be the one to kill. Well, that would be the same one actually, because yeah, never mind, never mind. I'll be the same one. <laughs> All these names. <laughs> okay, back to Hitokiri. Which you know, I, by the way, also gonna guys, you know, aside from this is a this is a bad series to bring it up in. I was about to say like, you know, I like that gonna guys series. Like the names, the characters are are very like easily rememberable. I don't know what it is about them, but they're all very easily memorable. And like I don't have him written down anywhere. I didn't write him down at all, but he's very easy to remember. I don't even bring it up very often. I don't know if they brought it up since you you know said it the first time. Um, but like yeah, you know, all his characters are very you know Mito Mondo. You know, they're very like easy memorable. But, he's being stopped by a monster of his own. Lost all my memories in an accident. Can't even remember my own name. Oh, he recognizes him. But everyone calls me Jigoku. Jigoku! Oh, fucking Christ. He's dead. He's dead. Crushed his head like a little watermelon. But Jigoku is back. And he is revived fully. He's healed up. He's everything. What the hell? 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Huh. The fuck? I gotta pause on every single one of these panels. They're all so interesting of a design. Look at that guy! Oh, look at that guy! Oh my god, that's cool. That's cool. Oh my god. I love this. Went from like a western to now we're fighting vampires. Like, this feels like if, if a western just suddenly was like, now we're fighting vampires. Which is not totally insane, but... Oh my god! Oh my god! Ripped his face off! Oh. And just easy. Boom, 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 boom. But, oh, cleaved off half his face. Yeah, how are the girls doing? Ugh, probably not well on their own either. Jesus, crushed under the motorcycle there. And, yep, split in half. Yeah, yeah, now you know what era we are of going to guy. If the women are dying like this, you know we're past the first couple of going to guy years. Oh, did we, wait, did he throw one? Uh... Uh, did, I, you know, I think we cut it off. Yeah, he had just had a normal. He didn't have like a Yakuza blade yet. He had like an actual katana. So yeah, we like cut it in half there. With the sparkle there, it kind of looks like that could be a hilt, and then that's the you know sepulchral blade. But okay, okay, nice, nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Get out the bazooka. Load it up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Reload again. <laughs> okay. Every time we're doing a reload, I'm really expecting a like. You know, oh, oh no, he says to go reload and he turns around and he's dead or something. But, it's not happening. We've done it so many times. Okay, now here's the guy with the giant scythe. Oh, and, <laughs> God, <laughs> all the different guns too. But, sorry. These guys are so much better than like, you know, we were fighting it before and they weren't that bad. But, this is, this is, oh my God. But, yeah, I mean, you need to ramp it up for the finale. I get it, I get it. Whoa, something happened to him. Uh, oh, no, that, he just got shot by... Yeah, like, it, it's not as brutal for them, because we're just shooting them, versus us. We are getting truly horrific, horrific injuries. And what the hell is this? Oh, fire breath. Fire breath. Just, yeah, set someone fire like fireballs. And that's some intense heat. Look at that. That's some intense heat. Burn them away. Whew. And the tongue guy. Yeah, the tongue guy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit, this is a brutal ending. Brutal ending. Goes to shoot, gets the acid in his face, or something. Uh, yeah, some, yeah, I think it's acid. God damn, god damn. Ripped apart of the waist there. And of course, yeah, just that. Of course. Is <laughs> this guy is a piece of shit. You know what? I don't know why I'm like, you know, the guy doing this is a piece of shit. It's supposed to be he's killing these guys. And I'm like, that's not the piece of shit move. This is the piece of shit <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, but okay, yep. Yeah, not killed though. So okay. We're still kind of in that going to guy era. <laughs> Alright, hand grenade time. Hell yeah. Oh, not as good as the RPG explosions, but... It's okay. Okay, okay, Midor's trying to escape. After him! A oh, grenade. Okay, hell yeah, grenade. This one might be better. There we go, there we go. Whew. And now, just like your face, half is burnt to a crisp. Okay, Ungard! Midoro! Yeah, she said he was gonna kill ya. Oh, oh my god. Awesome, awesome pistol. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, like, so, uh, the fact that we're all using, like, western, you know, guns, and they're, like, you know, uh, at least, uh, you know, um, Tornosuke is using the Luger, the, like, you know, the German pistol. Oh, God, love it, love it. This really is, like, freedom versus fascism, you know, boiled down to such a ridiculous <laughs> scenario. <laughs> Okay, so oh, oh, jumped in front of to take the bullets. Then yeah, please escape. <sighs> damn, damn, we would have got him, maybe. And now yeah, I'll help you escape. Let's yeah, I'll grab you and we'll fly away. <laughs> Again, you can see so much of the Devil Man inspiration here. This is like you're really wanting to do Devil Man at this point. You are really wanting it. <sighs> God. I I also wait. Where did you get those panties? I can see her other ones were ripped up. At, well, no, because yeah, there's no polka dots there, but there's polka dots here, but not there. <laughs> interesting, interesting. But yeah, he's getting kind of lazy with her with her design. I get it. Uh, 
Yeah, it was it was very cool the first time, but it's like the more you draw it, it's like sell, you know, strike a ball. It's like fuck me, <laughs> why did I do this? Okay, Ninkapoop, are you still alive? Please stay alive. Please stay alive. Please stay alive. Nice, <laughs> right to his head. <sighs> Ninkapoop, please stay alive to the end. We don't have that many pages left. Okay, we don't have that many pages left. Ninkapoop might be able to survive to the end. <sighs> now, Nido in here, sweating, burning to death. I do love, like, the difference of, like, you know, like, Mido and Mondo are, like, the strongest on par with, like, Subasa, but also Subasa can just break out of chains. Easy peasy. Well, I guess it also depends. Maybe these chains are much better, because, yeah, I guess Subasa couldn't break out of these chains, but Subasa could break out of, like, handcuffs. So, I guess it is a difference in strength of the chains. Goddamn, once again, inside the fire. But, breaking through with a bazooka? Hell yeah! <laughs> Coming through with the fucking bazooka. Never thought I'd be coming to rescue you. <laughs> Never thought I'd have to rely on you for help. Would have expected you to kill me instead. That's still him saying that, yeah. Mm hmm. On oh, the other, there's no witnesses around to see me do it. <laughs> but no. Oh? Yeah, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Beating you down doesn't sound fun anyway. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't do it. Again, the exact opposite of what he was saying at the very beginning of the series. <sighs> and, okay, well, yeah, when we busted through, we broke down one of the things. <laughs> nice. Okay, a lot of dead. Lot, a lot of dead. But we still got one big thing to worry about. A guy that we said would not be able to be taken down without the two working together. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. And okay, I like that it's not just like a few of them either. It's like we got we got a few. We got like our main three with Nincompoop, and then we got some in the background of each group, about three of each. Nice, man. Can't imagine the survivor's guilt you would feel if you're one of those people. I mean, like if you're one of the main guys, you it's like, well, of course I lived on that strong, you know. It's like, but like the rest of them, it's like, uh, there's no reason why I lived over the person next to me. It's just luck. I mean, maybe maybe with skill. To be fair, maybe you would be like. You know what, maybe I'm pretty hot shit. <laughs> and the entire Mito group was destroyed. Yeah. And yeah, they both lost basically all of our troops as well. And Chimidoro still stands strong. Does it? It just collapsed in the same page. Uh, because, yeah, it's true, but kind of, like, yeah, Chimidoro as in, like, uh, like, you know, the, the, the whole student body. Because we didn't do, did we do anything about the student body? What did we do? We just kind of skipped over. That was like a huge problem, and then we didn't do anything about it. Wait, while all you were busy attacking this place, I set all 300 of my men on Chimidoro. Okay, wait, this place wasn't Chimidoro? Uh, okay. Chimidoro was a separate place. Okay, I did not realize that. And yeah, with Jigoku dead, and Midoro and his monsters here, I thought it would fall easily. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, probably. I, I do like that it's, it's such a game for them, them too. Yeah, just trying to grab the big prize. And okay, so yeah, we still not dealt with the students yet. Students of Chimidoro are all his allies. What? He's bluffing. Yeah, but no, he's not. I just don't know what the, what the full truth of it is. Hmm. Maybe brainwashing him somehow? Yeah, I mean, they had mind powers and shit like that. They got a lot of stuff going on. <sighs> hmm, it just occurred to me. He isn't the kind of guy to give up so easily. Of course not. So right now, Amido groups in ruins. We've nearly exhausted all of our manpower. Really, even on this page, you're not going to give her the polka dot bikini. Come on. Come on. For this page. Come on. This is a big moment. But yeah, Midoro might never get a good chance of this again. You're right. We're at our lowest power, so they're going to want to attack right now. All right, so let's get the fuck out of here. Everybody <laughs> get the fuck out. But... We come face to face with them. We're surrounded. Hmm. This could be our last stand. Either fight or surrender. All right, let's go, man. Attack! And that's the end. My God, that's the end. Okay. You know what? This does really set up for like a sequel. I, I like this. This is like, you know, I, I, he clearly got it canceled early or wanted to end it early or whatnot. But it's like, you know what? Okay, we'll end it there. And you know. In a, if enough time, as we've seen with a lot of series, truly, especially this early, 
you know, enough time to pass, there might be another, you know, version of this. I, I don't think there is another, ver like, another sequel to this, even, like, a one-shot volume sort of thing, uh, way, way, way down the line. I don't think so, but, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes preferred than just rushing it and doing, like, doing it in, like, a chapter. <laughs> Devil man. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes I prefer the just, like, you know, and then you can imagine what the final battle would have been like, but I, I, I'm not allowed to do it. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to do it. And then maybe, eventually, down the line, we'll be able to do it better. But yeah, very fun series. Again, you can see the building blocks between a lot of the series. You can see the, the ramp up into Devil Man. You can see the uh, more violent ramp up from, like, you know, starting Shameless School and Abashiri Family to, like, especially Abashiri Family getting more violent as it goes on. Uh, but also this being very, like, you know, this just, I, I feel like also being like, how, how far can I push it with the violence? Like, how, you know, how violent can I get? How much gore can I show? Also, like, how violent as in, like, again, it's an entire, all it is is violence. You know, there's no other story there. It's exclusively violence. I think that's also something he's trying. Like, you know, well, how, if there's, you know, barely any comedy, the comedy is even still just a part of the violence and stuff. Like, how is that gonna, you know, can I do a whole series like The Shameless War? <laughs> And the answer was, no, it doesn't seem like it, you know? Uh, would I have enjoyed this as a whole series? Like, and by that I mean, like, you know, like at least ten volumes of that? I don't think so. I think four volumes is probably, you know, four or five maybe max. But uh, more than that I think would be stretching it, you know? It's it's a little bit too... Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't have that longevity to it. It is something that uh, is nice that it, and it's paced very well. So again, I'm glad he didn't, like, speed up this end here. It was very, like, you know... Yeah, there was a bunch of that stuff, like, Jigoku is still out there, you know, uh, Midoro is still out there, uh, you know, slash, um, Tornosuke. Like, there is some interesting, you know, plot points that we could pick back up on, or, you know, as fans, you can, you can do some fanfics of, you know? That's also, like, some fun stuff to read for series like this, like, you know, what is the fans' ideas of what would happen after this? That's, you know, something I would, I wish I could read, but I'm sure most of that shit is only in Japanese and there's no translation for any of that kind of shit. There's almost certainly nobody's ever written in English, like, what would happen at the end of this? That's, that's absolutely not. But in Japan, certainly, that's happened. Uh, but yeah, that's the sad thing about, you know, that sort of side of the, the fanfic, you know. Can't, fanfic from Japan, not translated really, you know, doujins and shit, we got that, but fanfic, that's, that's, that's too much, that's asking way too much. Uh, but yeah, I love the, love the design in the series early on, but it had the very Dragon Ball, he got sick of drawing it very fast, and so a lot of the really coolness of the designs was sucked away here towards the end, which I, you know, wonder if that's maybe part of the reason why it wasn't doing so hot. Um, but, but yeah, uh, the, the Western vibe, the, the, it being a, an education Western. Yeah, I don't know how to say You know, also pushing some of the lewd boundaries, not by, like, you know, offensiveness, but just by, like, again, as we were seeing, like, at this time in Shameless School and Abashiri Family, where he's like, can I draw a nipple? Okay, I can do that. Okay, you know, how much of a sensor do I have to have in front of the crotch? Like, how big can it be a blade of grass? <laughs> like, that sort of thing. He's really, you know, he's tiptoeing and going, like, what What can I do? What are they going to allow me to do? And I feel like, again, the violence is the same thing. Like, how much of it can I show, and what percentage of the manga could it be? Um, but, yeah. Next up, we have uh, some. I don't even know what the hell we have next up, but you'll you'll see. It. You know, I was gonna say it, but I don't. I don't remember, uh, and I don't want to say. I have no. I, I'm not even gonna guess because it could be wrong. And then so whatever's next is what I'm gonna do next, and I'll see you guys for that one. So, uh, yeah. And oh, as I, actually as I brought up, there's um like you know this had a very Sentai vibe, very Tokusatsu vibe. I am probably going to make another YouTube channel covering Tokusatsu stuff. Also, go and guide us quite a bit of that. Um, but yeah, I've never really gotten into Tokusatsu like manga or anything like that, and I'm barely into the live action stuff. Just starting to get into it uh, outside of the common writer. Um, but yeah, so um, look forward to that in the future. If I end up doing that, I'm not sure how in the future it will be, but that might be something to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, as far as the next going guys series, I'll see you for that on this channel as well. Until then, get the fuck out of here.